Well, as you just saw there, it was a chaotic first presidential debate between President Trump and Vice President Joe Biden. They went to head to head on their first debate. And joining me live this morning with a recap of last night's debate is Wright State University professor Dr. Lee Hanna. And Dr. Hanna, it made my brain hurt watching last night. It was a lot to take in. So I'm wondering, uh, from your perspective, what could voters actually take away from last night's debate? And will this shift anything on the political spectrum? <laughs> yes, just hearing that again just stressed me out. Um, <laughs> so yes, it was um, very combative, and especially the first 15 or 20 minutes. Um, you know, as far as how it affects voters, one thing I'm going to be curious about is how many people tuned out. Um, you know, at, at some point during that debate, and so it is this opportunity for, you know, the candidates have a platform. They're both very well known. They've been in politics for for a long time, where they're the sitting president. So, um, you know, there aren't really any people who are going to hear a new policy that's going to move them. But certainly, your perceptions of the candidate um, can be can be affected, and um, you know, in that way. Uh, it was it was not the the prettiest sight that we saw last night. Have we ever had a debate experience quite like this one? And do you expect the next two debates to be similar to what we just experienced? We definitely have not. And even when Pre when President Trump and Hillary Clinton debated, uh, not nearly uh, this combative. Um, you know, it put Chris Wallace in a really hard position of of, of you know kind of having to to wrangle. Um, you know, President Trump in particular, who was much more combative. I, I, th I think we don't want to both sides that he really came out um, interrupting and, and talking over Biden in a way that um, made the, the first few minutes uh, chaotic. The next debate will be a town hall. So voters are going to stand up and ask questions and the candidates will, I'm not sure how they're going to do it with the social distancing, but they're going to have a little more freedom to move about on stage. And so, you know, you can bully a, a reporter. That's popular with a lot of people right now. Um, but if you're talking over or bullying or ignoring a, a citizen and not connecting with them, you know, that can play play poorly. And so I, I think that, that that will at least change the, the strategy um, for the for the Trump team in this next election, this next debate. By and large, many people describe last night's debate as a, a mess, a disaster to many folks. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot to process, but how do you think it's going to play in the campaign trail over the next two weeks until we see them on the debate stage again? Yeah, so, um, you know, I think I think we will quickly kind of pivot and, and be curious to see what happens in this Harris and Pence debate. I think that that does make that debate perhaps more interesting because neither of them have... Um, uh, the kind of the, the characteristics that would make them uh, as, as explosive on the stage. So we might actually learn more about the candidates as uh, these two, you know, act as surrogates for their candidate. Um, and then also, you know, it's um, it, th there aren't that many undecided voters, uh, but I do think that people are looking for an excuse to finally jump in and support the candidate that they were already leaning to. And if you look at that from last night, um, you know, I think the, the early polling is showing that, that Biden did have an advantage in, in that front. So we'll see if that carries on. Um, but the, the Trump team and the Biden team will certainly be working hard to, to spend the best parts of the debate to, to their supporters over the next few days. Just 33 days left until the election. I know many people are saying, can we get there any faster than we are right now? <laughs> Dr. Lee Hanna, as always, thank you so much for joining us live this morning to help us understand these very complicated political times. Thank you, Nathan. All right.